being in this major museum and having, having created an image that's temporary and, and brings people in is, um, it's definitely, it's, it's, it has a foot in the art world. So I'm sure there's gonna be lots of people who have comments to make about that. But I was almost done with wedding season. I had a weekend off in uh, very early November 08. I had hoped my shop would be open by then. And so I was, gonna, I was going to, uh, I was trying to think of a good window for November. And I thought, oh, a portrait of Obama and cake would be great. And then I imagined using cupcakes and doing it like a pixelated image. And then I was driving down Main Street and I saw the Buffalo Obama headquarters. And it was just like, that's it. So for me, that really, that brought another whole conceptual level to the work because it was, you know, it was celebrating this work they had done as well as celebrating the candidate. And the photos went viral. So I was on all these foodie blogs and I was just getting so much positive response that I realized this is worth doing again. So one afternoon I was at the computer and I thought, maybe I'll just go back to my roots. I'm an artist, I have a degree in art. Maybe I'll email the art museums in DC. And I sent off, you know, two or three paragraph email with a photo attached to my first portrait. And, um, and the Smithsonian American Art Museum returned my phone call, which was an amazing day. <laughs> Every material has a connotation. So there's my intention as an artist of what I want you to get from it but then you're going to bring your own experience to any piece that you view. Cake, first of all, is it's about a celebration. You know, I was, I'm very interested in the decorative arts and in fiber arts, and um, those are very low on, in the pecking order of materials, in the hierarchy of mater art materials. You know, you have the fibers, and then you have clay, and then, you know, glass and uh, marble, those guys think they're, you know, they're up there. And, um, and so here I come in with, with uh, you know, with cupcakes, which is, uh, you know, like the bargain basement <laughs> art material, you know. Cupcakes as a medium resonate in a way that other materials don't, and, and that's fascinating to me. Um, it's playful, it's childlike, and there's just, there's a real sort of nurturing aspect. In art school, I got a lot of flack for making feel-good work with lots of color, um, very much in the decorative art vein. And I wasn't, you know, my art wasn't filled with sturm and drong, you know, and, and, you know, after art school, I went right into teaching and I loved that. And then um, I went into mothering and I loved that and, and always baking. And, and those were really my three loves. I started doing wedding cakes two years ago and I realized this is what I want to be when I grow up. This is perfect. It involves my whole skill set. When I, when I decided to have the business, I thought I was saying goodbye forever to any possibility of a, of a gallery presence or a, an, an artist career. And um, so when I made the portrait, I had no idea how it's gonna resonate and I had no idea how far it was gonna go. And now when I look at it, I think, oh my God, I made art. I'm making art again, this is really, this is it. I'm, I'm not, I still can't draw very well, but, but I can use Photoshop and I can plan. The planning on this is as much a part of the art this is the original design because it's very abstract when you're doing it each pan. You don't, you don't have any sense of the image you're creating. This one is from Alexander Gardner in 1863. This is from an Annie Leibovitz photo taken for Men's Vogue. I coded it 1 through 10 vertically and A through X horizontally. This is gridded off, you can't see it, but it's gridded off into little sections of, of how many cupcakes fit in a, an aluminum pan. You have to have faith in the in the plan and in the organizational system and follow it. It takes a digital image and slows it way down. It took it took 200 hours to make this piece, and and it'll be here briefly. And at five, we deinstall the piece, which means we serve it to people. And it's funny because when I make cookies and people say, "Oh, they're too beautiful to eat," but the point is to eat them. They're made of food. Why make it out of food if you're not going to eat it? The idea of actually ingesting art is is fascinating. So it, it makes it more of a performance than than an object, or more of an experience. And for me to do it out of food brings everybody into it because it's here and it will leave as part of you. Nothing's left. It's 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 eaten. It's gone. I want people to leave here feeling like they've been to a celebration. I want people to feel like they've been part of something that wasn't just a party.
this is not just my work. This is my idea, but it's it's our, it's my team's work. It's the Smithsonian American Art Museum's work to be doing this here, in this space, for them to have taken the risk to, you know, go out there on a limb and say, yeah, we think she can do it. Let's let's do it. I, I'm forever grateful to them for that. So.